A lot of our friends appreciate it kasi nga kakaibahay eh. Not common to the eyes. Yung parang sa Pinterest mo lang makikita. Some say na why not make it a vacation house and go for Airbnb. Well, kung gagawin namin yun, saan naman kami titira? <laughs> so, i-enjoy muna namin yung moments that we have here. Hello! Hello! Welcome to our kakaibahay! It was March 2020 nung nag-visit kami dito sa place ng parents ko and then uh, we didn't know at that time na it was the very first lockdown. So ayun, umabot kami ng 2 months straight na di nakalabas in this town hanggang we decided to build this tiny house, no? to have our own little space here kasi we are five in the family and we have two adopted boys who stays with us so medyo nagsisikan kami doon sa house ng parents ko so kaya we opt to make a house for us while we are here kasi as we have heard in the news na medyo matatagal pa yung lockdown so mas mabuti na din yung my own space kami to dwell in Even before the lockdown, we love to watch Giving Big in a Tiny House by Bryce Langston. So, sa mga vlogs niya kami kumukuha ng mga ideas on what to do. This is not a literal container as you can see. Kinustomize lang namin to to look like a container kasi as we calculate the cost, mas expensive yung container compared to this. More or less, we spent uh, $500,000 for the structure. Hindi kasama yung mga gamit sa loob. We love rustic and country look. Pero kung ano lang yung available na meron dito, na pwede namin maidagdag as designs, yung ginagamit namin just to look more rustic. Yung walls naman namin, uh, we just use colored roofing that looks like a container. A little touch of wood, relaxing siya tingnan pag may kahoy. Yung size nito is just 12 feet width, 20 feet yung haba, and yung height naman is 14 feet. This is much bigger than the actual container. Ito din yung advantage if you will just customize. Kasi you can choose kung anong gusto mong size. Our area is in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Actually, malapit lang siya sa town but yung daana namin is super bumpy. Lubak-lubak talaga. So in short, hindi talaga makakapasok yung truck which carries container. Kaya option namin mag-customize. We use Coco Lumber for the foundations and the frames which is napakalaki ng natipid namin kasi my papa just donated some of his coconut trees. Thank you nga pala pa for the coconut trees and also sa tulong to build this house uh, kasi si papa din yung nagiging lead man sa pag-build dito. For the lot naman, it's free kay papa din to kaya thank you ulit pa. Ngayon, uh, naging wise na kami sa budgeting. We always uh, make sure to expand our means. Kaya we always go for materials kung saan kami uh, makakamura. No? Di gaya ng dati na bili lang ng bili. Uh, hindi uh, nag-iisip kung mas magastos. We feel so relaxed, not maka comfy kasi iba talaga if you have your own space. Plus, the ambience here, parang nasa Bali. Yung paborito naming part sa bahay, yung porch. Kasi very comfy, very airy. Narinig namin yung huni ng ibon. Narinig namin yung sound ng river. Tsaka dito namin ginagawa lahat. No? Uh, we eat together, uh, we watch TV, and entertain uh, guests. Also, we do worship here in the porch. Ito pala yung aming maliit na kitchen. Lahat dito namin niluluto. A lot of our friends appreciate it kasi nga uh, kakaibahay eh. Not common to the eyes. Yung parang sa Pinterest mo lang makikita. 
some say na why not make it a vacation house and go for Airbnb. Well, kung gagawin namin yun, saan naman kami tetera. <laughs> so, i-enjoy muna namin yung moments that we have here. Aside from our kids and our family, our most inspiration is God. Uh, we did everything for Him. We chose to live a simple life away from the city for His glory. Kasi uh, we know this is what He wants for us. Na mamuhay ng simple, tahimik, at contento. Everything in this world is temporary. We owe everything to God for this even though we feel we are not deserving to have these bountiful blessings but we always thank God every day for the simple and comfortable life that we have right now.